Kephas and I, the second epistle of Apostle Peter, Shimon Kepha, a servant and an apostle of Yahusha HaMashiach, to them that have obtained like precious belief with us through the righteousness of Yahuwah, and our Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yahuwah and of Yahusha HaMashiach, as he has given unto us all things that pertain unto the power of Yahuwah, to life and the fear of Yahuwah, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the nature of Yahuwah, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, the fear of Yah, and to the fear of Yah, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things be in you, and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach. But he that lacks these things is blind, and cannot see afar off, and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. For an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly in the everlasting kingdom of our Adonai and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them and be established in the present truth. Yeah, I think it meets, as long as I am in this tabernacle, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Adonai, Yahushua HaMashiach, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from Yahuwah the Father honor and glory, when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my Yaqib, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place, until the day dawn, and the brilliance arises in your hearts, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahuwah spoke as they were moved by the Ruach HaKodesh. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying Yahuwah that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now but long time lingers not, and their damnation slumbers not. For if Yah spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to Sheol, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be washed unto the judgment of anguish. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the wicked, and turning the cities of Saddam and Amor into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after shall live in wickedness. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the Torahists, but that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with the toilless deeds. Yahuwah knows how to deliver his saints out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly, them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness, and despise government. Presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before Yahuwah, but these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime, spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, 
and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, a heart that have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Belam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass, speaking with man's voice, forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. But when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh. Through much wantonness, those that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, and of the same he is brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of Adonai and the Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, then, after they have known it, to turn back from the holy commandments delivered unto them. But it happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. The second suffering, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles, of Adonai and the Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that the word of Yahuwah, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of wicked men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with Yahuwah as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Yahuwah is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of Yahuwah will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are you to be in all purity of conversation and in the fear of Yahuwah, looking for and hasting on to the coming of the day of Yahuwah, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a renewed heavens and a renewed earth, wherein dwells righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. And account that the long suffering of Yahuwah is salvation, even as our beloved brother, Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, has written unto you, as also in all his suffering, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable pervert, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Yeah, therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware lest you also, being led away with the error of the Torahists, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace, and in the knowledge of our Adonai and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, and of Yahuwah the Father, 
To him be glory both now and forever. Amen.